wedding cakes uh, have been in the past a pretty big niche for us. They're a little slow right now, but hopefully that'll be back. <laughs> Gus came to us about two or three months ago, and he's a very talented uh, decorator. He does a lot of fondant work, a lot of uh, chocolate work, and, and uh, he does a lot of cakes that you see on TV. He can duplicate them, he, and he, does, he has his own, own cakes too, his own style that's very unique, and, and a lot of our customers are noticing the difference and picking up on it and talking about it. And they're, you know, his pancake cake, his pizza cake, and and his hamburger cake is pretty phenomenal cakes. You know, he does a great job and very talented. Right now he's teaching my other decorators to do a lot of things he does. So we try to do a lot of uh, small cakes because we live in a neighborhood of condos and, and apartments. So we're trying to do a lot of seven inch cakes to do to, that somebody might come in and buy for and it's just two people. Because most people don't want a, a big tall cake. So we're, we're trying to, to address that. Well, I think the way we get our price point out basically is by our quality of our work and, and, and giving the customer what the idea what they want. It's, it's how, you know, you can't buy our cake somewhere else at a grocery store. You can't, you can't talk to the decorator like we, you can with Gus and, or our other decorators even, you know, and, and that's where we get the, uh, the profitability out of our cakes, I guess, is that uniqueness.